Melanie with Venture Chiropractic. Today I'm going to cover a few tips to help save your back when lifting baby into and out of the crib. It is important to remember that proper lifting form is going to save your back, shoulders, after you deliver because you are going to be healing for a period afterwards. Uh, at six to eight weeks, you may have the crib at a higher setting. You want to use every advantage possible and having that mattress will allow you to keep baby's weight closer to you when lowering into the crib. We have an older child, so the demonstrations today are gonna to be done with the mattress at the lowest setting. Again, for safety, just so uh, baby doesn't come out of the crib. So when we're looking at cribs, the rail height, ideally we would like to be below the hip. What that would do is it would allow us to bend more properly without having to uh, have a arch in our back. So I'm gonna show you with this rail height being where it's at, there is no way for me to be able to bend into that crib without arching my back and moving baby far away from my center of gravity. As baby's weight is moved farther away from my center of gravity, again, you are going to have a better chance of injuring yourself. Since this railing is higher than my hip, I am going to get a stool. This stool has grips on the top, grips on the bottom, and it is very sturdy. So it will be able to hold my weight and the weight of my child without slipping out from underneath of me. So we just have the stool placed in the proper spot on the crib and you step up having a nice base with your feet underneath of you. My butt is going to move away and we are gonna keep the weight of baby as close to us as possible, moving in a straight line down versus holding the weight out here. So with him, we are gonna have a slight bend, butt out, bringing him straight down into the crib and then coming up and stepping away. All right, our sleeping baby has now woken up and we are going to pick baby out of the crib. So again, I'm gonna use my stool because of where my railing height is. Slight bend in my knees, hips are gonna move out. So as I come down to get baby, raise them back up, keep them close to our trunk, and then we safely step off the stool. Using these tips with rail height, using assistance if we need with a stool. Remember, butt out, knees slightly bent, lowering baby's weight straight down in the crib is really gonna help save your back and hips as you are recovering in that first year. I hope you found these tips helpful. Remember, we are always here at Venture to help you move better, feel better, and be a better you. Everybody's moving, everybody's moving, everybody's moving, 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 moving. Everybody's moving, everybody's moving, everybody's moving, moving, moving. And